questions for the players, please. Sierra, your thoughts about pulling that game out? I mean, it looked like it, it didn't look really good there in the last minute. I mean, what's, what's your thoughts for that? I mean, it was great. It was, it was an awesome win. Um, you know, we like to say any SEC win is a great win because this, this league is so competitive, especially on the road. Uh, so for us to just keep fighting and pull it out when people thought the game was over, over I mean, I think that speaks – uh, just for a lot for our character as a team and you know they always tell us to not give up and we did it and I'm just so proud of my teammates. Shar, could you just talk about that the game winning shot that you had underneath the basket and just the, the play leading up to it and how you guys were able to make it happen? Uh, I think we just never quit. Uh, I think uh, May got a tip on the um, Inbound. inbounds and I think that's just uh, that turned it around and we got that steal and we got the possession and I just knew that we, uh, if we got that possession, we were going to win that. It's crazy because it's happened before with these two schools and final fours or last seconds and between Tennessee, Tennessee and LSU. And Tennessee pulls it out. Is it just something that did defensively there? Daniel were able to, you know, kind of get them out of their comfort to get the ball back. Um, I mean, we honestly we played a terrible defensive game. Um, we didn't stick to the game plan as, as well as we should have. But I think just our relentless pursuit to continue to keep fighting, I mean, that that's what got us this win. Um, you know, sometimes you're not going to have the best offensive game and you're not going to have the best defensive game. But just the ability to keep fighting, that's what we needed. And we were able to get it done. How did you, where did you stray from the game, the game plan defensively? Um, I mean, they just, there was one period when I was just like, man, they're not missing. And uh, they were just getting too many open looks. I know Webb uh, got almost six points back to back off that curl, off that pin down screen. So it's just recognizing that and shooting the gaps instead of uh, trailing. I mean, it, it's just little things that we wanted to do that we failed to do. Bashara, could you also talk about the team's ability to, to come back there in the last minute? I mean, it was after plays on suit that hit that jumper and then they got the free throw. Just what were you thinking at that point? Uh, I was thinking we, we just still had time. Uh, we still had time on the clock to get uh, to get what we wanted to win the game uh, or at least to go into overtime. Uh, when she hit, uh, shot that shot and she um, she got fouled, uh, we had confidence in her to make her free throws. I mean, she made one, but it's out the game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's out the game. And uh, that's just I think that changed everything for us and we just – um, we're hustling from then on. Was it the strategy then to, to, to pressure that inbounds the way you did then after after you made the one free throw? Was it? Was yeah, it I mean, we obviously wanted to get up. Um, you know, they 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 said that we either wanted to get a steal or get a quick foul. So we were able to get our first game plan, and I mean that that came out big. Megan had a, a great tip on the ball, and Char was able to dig it out and finish um, finish the play. How big is it to get a win like this after what happened on Sunday? I mean, to come right back from that game and, 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 and to get one like this. It was huge. We wanted to bounce back. Uh, you know, Holly, Holly said, make, make this game be proof that Missouri was a fluke. So we wanted to come out and just, you know, do the best that we could. And we still have a lot to work on and still a lot of improvement to make. But I mean, I think this was a great statement game to let everyone know that Tennessee isn't going to quit. Are there any more questions? Yeah, um, could you talk about, either one of you talk about what you got from Kamiko tonight? Because, I mean, coming into this game, you weren't even sure she was going to play. And, and she ends up with, uh, what, eight points, six boards. Um, and either one of you talk about her ability to bounce back. Um, well, first of all, let's speak for JMO because she did a fantastic job just getting Miko back and healthy. Um, I've said it before, I think JMO is the best athletic trainer in the country, and I'll continue to say that. So uh, Miko wouldn't have been able to get back without her. So props definitely go out to her. And uh, just as far as what Miko brings us, we know she's going to play hard every single possession. Um, and she's so capable of doing um, endless things from rebounding to getting assists to scoring. I mean, she's just an, a, a pure athlete. And what she can do on the floor really helped us. And her coming off the bench and just providing a spark, uh, that was key tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks, ladies.